Well, I actually think one of the reasons that mom was elected governor is because people could relate to her. And she, as she used to say, you got to gotta take me warts and all. She had, you know, she was a recovering alcoholic and she was very public about that. She was divorced from my dad and that was very painful, but she talked openly about that. And I do think that people said, you know, this is a woman who is not trying to put on any airs about how, you know, tough life can be. And she inspired, I think, a lot of people to get involved in politics. I also talk about in the story, though, that she lost the second, you know, when she you know, was running for re-election and that uh, that was a really bitter loss for me and a lot of folks who believed in her. But it's not like people quit. And even she didn't quit. It was, you know, she may not be governor of Texas, but there was so much she could do to make a difference in the world. So I do think it's important to remember even if you fight, fight hard for something or work in an election and you don't win, um, you're going to learn something from that. You're going to meet amazing people. And eventually, you know, you're going to succeed. Yeah. I mean, and that's her legacy. Do you think her legacy is even more important now as we see more women jumping into the political space? Completely. In fact, I think right now, unfortunately, my mother has passed on, but... There was nothing that she would be more excited about than all these young women not waiting their turn, not waiting till someone said, okay, now it's yours, uh, and just running for office anyway. In fact, I was just back in Texas because my family still lives there, and a young woman who was her volunteer coordinator on her campaign a million years ago is now not only in the State House of Representatives, but she's the leader of her caucus. And a, you know, a young Latina lesbian woman who is so powerful, but really had her first chance on that campaign. And I think that was what mom always believed in. And I think what we're seeing now is women just taking joy in the success of other women, especially women who've been left out of the political process. You know, women of color, uh, gay and lesbian people, you know, a whole bunch of people who once they actually get elected in office, we're gonna see really true democracy. Yeah.